Well folks, if you're anything like me, you spend most of your weekends and your free time out four-wheel driving and exploring the bush and just getting back to nature and loving life. And then of course, you've got the nine to five, Monday to Friday, doing the, the school run with the kids, going to work, doing the running around. And when you add that all together, it means those service intervals on your four-wheel drive come around pretty quick. But the great news is you can save plenty of coin by doing those oil changes yourself. You don't really need a whole lot for this job. You are going to need a few things, like a new filter obviously, something to catch your old oil in. I've got a 14 litre jobby here. And of course you're going to need some oil. I'm lucky enough to have plenty on the shelf. Basic hand tools are going to do the job for this one. You might want a filter removal tool. Buy the best oil you can afford. Have a chat to your local Auto One. They'll give you the right advice. And of course the same goes for your filter. Of course this is safeguarding your engine. You don't want to scrimp there. And I really like this big 14 litre catch can from Toledo which I picked up on local auto one as well. Oh and don't forget some new brass washers for your sump plug. First thing I'm going to do is take the oil cap off. Now this is going to make the old oil come out a lot easier. Get that big catch can under there. That's going to grab all of the old oil. Just position it so you're not going to make too much of a mess. Get your socket on there. Doesn't take too much to crack it. Do the rest by hand, and whooshka, out she comes. I better clean this mess up before the missus finds out, she won't be too happy. You might need to reposition your catch can underneath the, uh, the sump just to make sure that you don't spill too much there. Now while that's draining, grab yourself one of those new brass washers and throw that on. Make sure you get rid of the old one, and this is going to help prevent any leaks down the track. By the time you've got your washer on, all the old oil should be out. So get that in there, give it a tidy up, bit of a bit of a clean, neatness is important. Get your ratchet back on there. Now this doesn't need to be the tightest thing in the world. Those brass washers are designed to compress. They're just enough so it's not going to fall out. You'll know. Now it's time to get rid of the old oil filter. Mine's hidden here behind this hose and for me it's a case of just a simple socket and an extension bar. This is a half inch drive. Uh, Nissan put a lot of thought into this. I think this is really clever. And it's just as well because there's no room in there for filter removal tools or, or any other fancy sort of thing. So this makes the job nice and easy. Once you've got it loosened, you can do the rest by hand. Do your best not to spill any more oil at this stage as well. I've got the can underneath. Once we can get back to the bench now, in my case, it's, a, it's simply taking the old filter out. Get rid of the oil that's in there. Give it a tidy up, a wipe out. Once that's all tidied up and cleaned up and ready to go, one of the things I'm going to do is remove this seal. Now, when you get your Ryko filter, it'll come with a new seal. Very important to replace that. That compresses over time. And if you reuse it, there's a good chance you're going to end up with an oil leak. So don't risk it. Get rid of that. Get a new one on there. So here it's in with the kit. The new filter. Looking a whole lot better than the old one. When you pop the filter in, in this case, it's going to be a very reassuring click so you know that it's in there right. And just like any other filter, make sure you lube that seal up with the fluid that you're going to be replacing. So in this case, it's the new oil, the filter's on, the seal's on, time to screw him back home. You'll be able to do it with your fingers until you get to the seal and then you'll have to pull the tools back out. Again, you don't need to over tighten these things. They don't need to be, you know, at 100 foot pounds or anything like that. Just enough to you feel it grab. Just give it another little whisker there. Yep, that's not going anywhere. Beautiful. All right, time for some uh, a belly full of fresh fluids, isn't it? We've got the big funnel there. And this is the uh, the 10 litre pack of Castrol. So all you need to do here is get it uh, pretty close. I know in my case this takes around about nine litres with a filter change. Now it's time for a quick check on the dipstick. And now I've got to go for a drive. All right, well the oil change is done. I've checked the levels, now I'm going out for a bit of a drive. I'll come home, let the car settle for five minutes, check the level on the dipstick again. If it needs a top up, I'll top it up. Otherwise, it should be right to go. As I said, really simple. Head down to your local Auto One, set aside an hour this weekend, and save yourself a few bucks.